Hey guys, so we are on our way to London and today we are going to predominantly be shooting Fuji JPEGs. I might have, you know, a few backup RAWs just in case I get some bangers, but everything that you see in this video is going to be shot for a Fuji JPEG and I'm going to be using the Fuji X app. Um, I've chosen a recipe that I really like called Vibrant Arizona obviously we're not in Arizona but I'm trying to capture those summer vibes so um, hopefully we can achieve something nice um, it is a bit overcast so I'm going to be tweaking the recipe as I go and kind of informing you of how I use it but um, everything I use today will be shot on the 56mm Sigma my new favorite lens go check out that video about um, how much I love that so that's linked there and hopefully we'll be able to replicate some of those summer vibes right here in London. So if you're unfamiliar with the Fuji X Weekly app, here is what it looks like. There are tons of recipes to choose from, and if you want to dial in the Vibrant Arizona recipe, luckily there are two versions. So if you don't have an X-H2S or some of the other cameras listed below, you might find them on the second recipe. So here is my Fuji recipe based on those vibrant Arizona settings. The film simulation is classic chrome. Dynamic range is DRP strong. Grain, I leave off because you can always add this in post. Color chrome effect off. Color chrome effect blue, weak. White balance, auto plus red and minus eight blue. Color plus four, sharpness minus two, noise reduction minus four, clarity minus three, ISO up to ISO 6400, exposure compensation plus two thirds to one plus one third. So these are the exact settings I used for the pictures that you are seeing in this video. So I'm halfway through editing this video and I just had to hop on here and say how impressed I am with this Fuji recipe. This is so good. The recipe Vibrant Arizona has been a major success. I have had so much fun playing with this in London and I can only recommend it to everyone else. The best thing about this is that it fits so many cameras. Someone has made obviously two versions of this so it fits for me, my X-H2S and my X-Pro3. So going out shooting with both cameras is so good. It's quite relevant at the moment that the new Wes Anderson film, Asteroid City has just come out. And I do think that somewhere with that Arizona effect um, and you know what he's trying to do there, there's a similarity going on. You know, I've chose this. I didn't, you know, choose this on purpose because of that. I've noticed that that film is out and that's just come together. Synchronicity, hey? Um, so everything here was shot on the X-H2S. That was what I had on the day. And like I said previously, with the Sigma 56mm 1.4, my new favorite lens. Honestly, go check out that video up there. I uh, had lots of fun with it in Brighton when I first got it. So as a hybrid shooter, I usually film and take photos. But on this occasion, all I did was take photos. I had so much fun and it reignited something in me while on the streets. It was so fulfilling and rewarding to play with another kind of simulation that I really enjoyed. And I'm definitely gonna choose another one for another video and you know, tweak it as I go. That is the genuinely best thing about this is that you can tweak it, you can play with it, you can make your own. I'm definitely gonna be making my own and creating another video to go along with that. And I want you, if you are out there making your own, share them in the comments. People are making some fantastic recipes of their own and I wanna use them and play with them as you know. I know you guys do too. So let's share on this channel, put them down in the comments, let me know. 
Anyway, I had loads of fun, as I said, shooting with this recipe. I'm gonna try and make my own now, and I encourage you to do the same, or at least download the Fuji X weekly app. That app is so good, you just dial in those settings and you're gonna get the colors that you want, which is great because it gives you the examples before you actually put them into your camera. So if you're like me and you're new to this, you're gonna have a lot of fun. So here are the rest of the photos I took. I whittled down the first few of some of my favorites, but here are the next batch of my favorites for you to enjoy and just see how good this recipe is. Hats off to whoever created this. Really enjoyed it um, and yeah, thumbs up. So enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Keep rocking the free world. Do 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 do.